Well, it's June 30th, 2018, and uh, I'm on board Tortuga. I just left the marina. I'm just going to go out for a little short cruise, take a look at what's in the harbor. Looks like we've got a schooner up here. We'll take a look at it, and uh, basically just see what's around. It's uh, getting a little overcast right now, so it's uh, cooled off some. It was almost 80 earlier. But uh, it's not too bad now. And we'll run out, look around, to see what's out here today on June 30th, 2018. Okay, here's the view forward, looking east. And looking over at the Coast Guard, Beals Lobster Pier. And this is the main lobster boat moorage right here. And a couple of uh, a trawler here on one of the town rental moorings and various other small boats out there. So let's go take a look at this schooner. Okay, this is the Bowden, which I believe belongs to Maine Maritime Academy. It's used as a training vessel for cadets at the academy. And uh, we'll run in a little closer and see what it looks like close up. It's anchored there. about it later and put it in the description for the video. And this is the one that's owned by Maine Maritime Academy. So, there we go. Now I'm going to cruise past Clark Point, which is right here, uh, between Clark Point and Greening Island. And we're going to go take a look at a uh, mega yacht that uh, spends its summers here. It's called the Rebecca. So it's going to take a couple minutes to get over there, so I'll shut down until we're a little closer. Okay, we're past Clark Point. This is the back side of Clark Point with some of the uh, fancy homes over here. These are all summer homes. And we'll be Coming up on the Rebecca in a couple of minutes, and there's another uh, boat on a mooring over here that I'm going to take a look at. I don't recognize it. Looks like a sailing vessel, but it doesn't have any masts, so we'll have to cruise by and have a closer look. You can see it up there. There's the Rebecca, the big one, straight ahead, and to the left of it, there is a black hulled vessel. It looks like a sailing vessel, but no masts, so I don't know what it is. Here's a nice little day sailor going by. Looks like a Harrishoff 12 and a half. Actually, can't read the name. It's a nice little day sailor. Okay, here's this one. Not close enough to read the name. It's a pinky. And it's got a jury rig mast. I think I know the guy who owns this, and he's having masts made for it this summer. Uh, I thought it was a wood boat from a distance, but if it's the boat I think it is, it's the Ambergris, and it is a steel boat, not wood. I'll run in and make a closer pass. This is kind of nice looking uh, boat. It is a schooner, it's just not rigged right now. Okay, I'm going to make a close pass here. It is indeed the boat that I thought. It belongs to uh, my friend Patrick, and he is uh, having masts made for it. So, but it is a steel schooner. But, nice looking boat. And that's Patrick up in the bow doing a little paint work. <laughs> so, now we'll run over and take a look at the Rebecca. This is the sailing vessel Rebecca. It spends summers here. This is a 147 foot uh, catch. And that's its mooring. It spends the summer on every year. And it goes out uh, mostly for day sails. And it's uh, a beautiful boat. I believe it is aluminum. So another non-wooden boat. But that thing is a monster. I got a little wake coming in right now. You can 
it's going to roll me. But I'm going to pass close astern. I'll go out so you can see it. So there you go. Your nice little boat needs a little varnish here and there to keep it looking like that. Now I'm going to head over and go up Somme Sound a little bit. That right there is the entrance to Somme Sound. So we'll just drive up there a little and have a look at a couple things. Just got passed by a lobster boat, so we're going to see how Tortuga handles the wake as I cut through it at about an 80 degree angle. Very nicely. Okay, this is looking up Somme Sound. I'm going to head over past that green buoy. That's the entrance marker for the channel. Although I could go through here pretty much any time. It's pretty close to high tide. There's plenty of water there, but there's also a fair amount of current and lobster gear gets tends to get towed under and I don't want to hit a submerged uh, lobster pot float. Okay, I'm in some sound. We're looking up there. These are a few summer homes here. Half of this point is in Acadia National Park. The hill behind it is also in Acadia National Park, as is the uh, side of the sound here for a ways. There's some people coming out on their sailboat. And the first thing we're going to see here is Valley Cove. Okay, as I approach Valley Cove, I'm running at uh, 1650 RPMs, which is about six and a half knots. And it's pretty flat water right in here, so I'm probably going just about that speed. And we'll have a look ahead at Valley Cove as we come into it. This is the entrance to Valley Cove here. This is a very deep cove. Uh, right now, we're in about uh, 60 feet of water, but it's gonna get deep fast. Be over 100 feet when we get into the cove. A little Nordic Tug 32 going by. turn into his wake. He's probably running about 10 knots. As you can see, he makes a pretty substantial wake. We're running about six, six, six and a half. And I'll show you our wake in just a second. So I'm sure I'll clear this lobster here. And you can see our wake, non-existent. So here we go, into Valley Cove. Pretty uh, spectacular place by Maine standards. A nice uh, couple hundred foot high cliff there. This is in Acadia National Park. Okay, here we are, getting into Valley Cove proper. You can anchor in here. Uh, there is a shallow shelf close to shore. Right here, I'm in 125 feet of water, and you can move in over there and anchor in about 25 feet, but you have to be pretty close to shore. It's a popular hiking trail here uh, through Acadia National Park. It's a short trail, only about half a mile, so quite a few people walk it. You can see a sailboat up there that's uh, anchored. The downside to anchoring in here is that uh, because this uh, cliff face is the west side and uh, that's south over there, it loses the sun quite early. And uh, sun sets very quickly in here. We're still in 107 feet of water. We'll run in and show you where, the, where it shoals out. And also the current runs through here, and uh, it runs fairly hard, a couple of knots, uh, and it reverses. So if you anchor in here, it's a rocky bottom, you have to make sure your anchor is set. So we're gonna cruise in here, 70 feet. And we'll get on to the shelf where you can anchor. 50 feet. You have to be pretty close to shore if you anchor in here. 
see up there. We're down to 32 feet. And we're still shoaling. But if you were going to anchor, this would be about where you would. 27 feet right here. This is high tide, so you'd be in about 13 feet or so at low. through. So this is the first anchorage you come to up Somme Sound. The next place you can anchor is all the way up at the end of the sound in Somme's Harbor, which is a very pleasant anchorage. You can anchor up there in about 20 feet of water at low and have a very pleasant evening. You have to be careful though, the sand, Somme's Harbor looks very big at high tide but more than half of it dries at low. And it goes from about 20 feet to nothing in about 30 feet. So you gotta be very careful not to anchor too close to the area where it shoals or you'll find yourself in the mud at low tide. Here's a view of the cliff. It's a pretty abrupt cliff. There is a trail along that cliff. Uh, that you can walk through Acadia National Park. It's closed part of the summer because this is a peregrine falcon nesting area. Actually, since I'm in here, I'm going to run up to the far end of the cove and we'll have a look at Man of War Brook. It rained pretty good the last couple of days, so uh, there should be some water in it. If we have a dry spell of more than about a week, because the drainage is quite small, Man of War Brook dries up almost completely but it should have nice flow right now. So we're gonna head up around this little point and tuck in over to have a look at Man of War Brook. Hey, this is Man of War Brook. It's not very spectacular. After a big rain, uh, there can be quite a water, bit of water flowing down there. That's a reasonable amount for this time of year, uh, but it's only that much because we had about two inches of rain two days ago. But as I said, this is a very small drainage, so it doesn't take long before the uh, water slows down and just goes to a trickle. Okay, so we're going to turn around and head back. Back there, there's somebody apparently anchored uh, who's having uh, a visitation from the Coast Guard. Let's hope they stay occupied with them and ignore us. <laughs> so here's a more distant look at Valley Cove. You can see that sailboat we went by. And the cliff there. And back astern, there is a boat getting boarded by the Coast Guard. And I'm hoping they stay away. <laughs> Although, if they're coming out some sound, they're going to have to pass us on the way out. So I'm going to make sure I've got a life vest to show them, which usually keeps them happy. And there's the entrance to Somme Sound, where I'm going to motor out. It'll be a quick passage, because I'll have the tide with me. There's not much tide right here, but it was already running about a knot and a half at the entrance. And it'll be favorable on the way out. So, getting into a little bit of lobster gear, so I'm going to put the camera down. Okay, we're out of some sound. There's the Rebecca over there. And the entrance to some sound astern, and the Coast Guard is hanging right there in the entrance, waiting to get somebody coming or going. And we have about Oh, a mile and a half, maybe a little more to be back at the marina, which is where we're headed for. So, a nice, pleasant cruise. Not the brightest day, but that's kind of nice. It makes it easier to run without bright sun on the water. You can see the lobster gear, which there is starting to be a bit of. Still have a fair current. As you can see right here, That's one thing lobster gear is good for, is to tell you which way the current is going. So I'm going to shut down until we're 
back up close to the marina. Okay, we're passing between Clark Point and Greening Island. Again, back into Southwest Harbor, and this is an International One design. Out for one of the first sales of the season. There's quite a fleet of these here that uh, race during the summer. Now we're coming back into Southwest Harbor proper now, and I can see that the schooner Bowden is gone, so they must have just been taking a break. And who knows where they've gone for the night. <laughs> but they are no longer anchored, because where they were was pretty much straight ahead of, on our current course. And look out there. And looking sort of west-southwest toward the head of the harbor. That's where we're going. I'll be turning in that direction. And we should be about six-tenths of a mile. We'll be back.